Now, veterinarians say floating kneecap is a problem that is sometimes found in smaller dogs, but I was able to ask about a new device that can help with that while also preventing arthritis in your pets. We have done what we can to make her comfortable and assure that she has a really good, happy life. Bella is like many other smaller dogs who tend to have a congenital disorder known as luxating patella. Which is a fancy way of saying their kneecap dislocates or it jumps out of where it's supposed to be. Dr. Merton Pearson at NOAA's Pet Hospital says unlike previous methods of surgery, there's a new device that could cut down recovery time. I have set it up such that I have templates that I can open the knee up and I can put this in place and measure and make sure I've got the right size and then drill my holes through the template and then place the implant in place and two or three screws depending upon the size of the implant and close and I'm done. And so I'm not cutting bone. And Bella is one of the pet hospital's first pups to experience both types of surgeries. Night and day on how she's recovering. She feels much better. She's not as painful. She's getting around good. She didn't cry the first night. She's had pain meds, but it hasn't been nearly as intense or complicated or a difficult recovery for her. And Dr. Pearson recommends getting this surgery as soon as possible to prevent long-term effects. The dog has a luxating patella and we don't address it. That will lead to arthritis. And this device was rolled out at the pet hospital back in March. It's now 536.